everyone and welcome. Um, just a show of hands, how many of you have never played a musical instrument before? Okay, quite a few. We have a lot of musicians in the audience. Okay, for those of you who have not played a musical instrument before, how insanely ridiculous and intimidating does this look? Very. Very. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, for anybody who's never played a musical instrument before, getting hands on with music can be a little intimidating at first. Trying to read sheet music and figure out what notes to play and what keys to press, it can be a very intimidating process. Or, conversely, if you just started playing piano, you know how mundane and boring some of the beginner piano pieces can be. When the saints go marching in, row, row, row your boats, they can be pretty boring. So you have to actually um, practice in order to finally get to a piece that you want to play and are interested in playing. And that's where we come in. We are organ brand. And the main goal of our game is that we aim to be a gateway drug into music. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, I don't know if you can see, but we have the MIDI controller up here, and that's the main controller that players will be utilizing in order to play our game. We want players to get their hands on with music and to not be afraid, and to just have fun actually playing a video game while playing music. And um, that might seem a little tough to do, but I'll explain how we made it pretty simple for the player. But first off, I want to go into the fiction of the game. The fiction of the game revolves around the steampunk theme. So in the early 1900s, the polar ice caps melted and the whole world was flooded over. So of course, it's steampunk, an immense airship was built, and um, the remainders of society were placed into this city that has different levels. We have your slum level, your middle level, and your rich level, with a huge clock tower intersecting all of the levels. And this clock tower is very important because it actually rotates the ship with the sun. And it's very important that this city is always within the sun or they will freeze. But the ship is slowing. And um, when the clock tower slows down, that could be very detrimental to the city. And this is where we have our two main characters come into play. We have on our right here, Quasimodo, who is this eccentric older man. He's very resourceful. He is bound to his wheelchair, but he goes throughout the city collecting junk and trinkets to form his organ, and he's the organ grinder that the name of the game comes from. And he plays his organ throughout the slums and tries to make people happy. On the left-hand side, we have our other main character, Staccato. And he's the king of the clock tower automatons, and he lives at the top of the clock tower. However, he was um, jettisoned from the top of the clock tower, and he fell in Quasimodo's house. So Quasimodo found him, decided to put him back together, and make him his new organ. And actually, he serves as Quasimodo's legs, and he only obeys to Quasimodo's music, which is where you come in as a player. You play as Quasimodo, who plays the keyboard in order to move staccato around this environment. And you actually play the keyboard in order to move him and attack enemies as well. Here we have different levels of the environment. The left-hand side is what we will be showing you today, the clock tower. And the clock tower is filled with um, enemies that will get in staccato's way, and also um, combat that you have to um, face. And this is like the lower end of the clock tower that you'll be seeing today. Well, we have the lower class and the middle class as well. <coughs> so the basic um, movement mechanics that we have is that you use your left hand to move and your right hand for attacks, which is pretty basic for um, piano playing. You, your bass line is usually your very simple, repetitive bass line that you're playing with your left hand, while the more melodic sequences occur on your right hand which is where the attacks come into play. And this is pretty good for beginners. We had to prototype a lot to figure out um, what felt right and what felt right for the player to get used to playing piano. So you're probably asking yourself, how in the world will I know how to play if I'm not reading sheet music? We have this user interface of the keyboard where keys light up to show the next note in the sequence. And they actually light up white when it's um, time to play the next note. So this actually helps with timing and um, rhythm, and we also have symbols on the keyboard to help players um, know exactly what these keys are without having to know what C sharp is, or D, or F, and these symbols are just easy to grasp, um, sort of steampunk symbols that are a great visual indicator for the player. On the left hand side, you can see we have a boot, and that um, is representative of movement. So you play that, and then it highlights the next key that you need to do in order to move your character forward. We also have environmental cues in the environment to help the player know what to play. So here, a puzzle that I'll show you in the demo in just a second, we have a gear <laughs> that's right here. And um, actually, let me turn off the lights. Here we go, you can see it better. We have a 
gear in the environment that actually matches up to a gear that's on the key right here. So this sort of lets the player know and tips them off to what they should play in order to get to the level. And right now, I'd like to play for you our demo. And um, you'll probably recognize the song that I'm playing. It's actually um, Moonlight Sonata. So this is gonna take place in the clock tower where the clock tower has its own beat and its own rhythm and its own music that it's making and that you're making your own music on top of it.
such as a different musical song for each level. And we have a unique and innovative design, the actual keyboard input, that allows for expansion and various types of gameplay. So as you just saw, we have the basics down, we have MIDI keyboard integration, we have the user interface, and we have examples of combat and puzzle for gameplay. So this is a very unique game that's very new to the music and rhythm gaming genre. And um, we're really happy that we have this innovative design to work with. So I just want to say thanks from all us organ grinders. And um, thank you for coming out. Any questions?